Welcome to On The Pitch, our weekly soccer show here on WOSN. What a week it was in West Central Ohio On The Pitch. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights, starting with Bath and Defiance. Bulldogs trailing the Wildcats 1-0 in the first half, but the Bulldogs on the attack, and Devin Leitner scores to even the score at 1. Bath trying to go back ahead now. Jordan Sellers pass up ahead. Dallas Salazar comes out to make the sliding save. More from the Wildcats. Sellers, long pass to Logan Ambrister. He runs onto it, dribbles in, gets a shot away, but it's wide of the cage. Home team keeping the heat on defiance. Keaton Manley pass to Sellers, shot, but save made by Salazar. Late in the half now, Zach States on the throw in. Great long throw. Comes to Manley, but too much boot on this one as it goes over the net. Tied at one at the half, Bath goes on to win it 3-2 on a goal scored by Austin Ricker with just 2.07 left in the game. How about LCC and Lehman Catholic girls action? Lehman Catholic up 1-0 on an Ashley Keller goal versus LCC. Cavaliers, Sour Pillar, turns, burns, and just like that, Lehman Catholic up 2-0. Great finish there for the goal. T-Birds looking for the answer. Liz Tafflinger, long kick ahead for Emma Baumgartner. Kelsey Weber comes out to grab it for Lehman. Other end now, Fuller, nice pass to Keller. And that's a goal, her second of the game. 3-0 in the first half. And the Cavs are looking for more. Molly Seafried shot on net, saved by Madison Stolle, one of her 10 on the night. Then Sydney Sanaguina tries a shot from the right wing. Weber makes the save on the hop. 3-0 the score, and that's the final in some Western Ohio Soccer League action. How about back to the WBL now? Beautiful night on Thursday. Elida hosting Walpop. Both teams coming in undefeated. Host Bulldogs down 3-1 in the second half. Dalton Riker plays it ahead. Tristan Meyer makes the save before Garrett Whitler can get there. More from Elida now. Sean Ezel finds Whitler off the shoulder to Adam Ordellin into the back of the net. Elida is within one. Wapak trying to answer. Colin Lenhart on the corner kick. Alex Lousy the shot. Diving saved by Garrett Brinkman to keep it a one goal game. Then later, Jared Houston with the shot for Elida. Meyer with a diving save of his own. Wapak wins 4 to 2. Sam Heingartner had two goals. Will Heingartner had one. Will is our player of the week on the pitch. He scored four goals in a 6-0 win over Bluffton on Tuesday. He's got 13 in his last four games. And speaking of Wapakoneter, we are joined by them now here on the pitch. It is their head coach, Coach Rambin and Sam Heingartner. Two goals in that game against Elida. Sam, let's start with you. What does that win mean to you against a tough WBL opponent? Well, it was a really big game. Elida's a really good team. and. We just came out to play. We put three on them right in the first half. Then we let one slip right at the end. And then we're usually a first half team. And in the second half, teams usually get more even with us. But we held the win. Yeah, big win at that. And you're not mad at me for making your twin brother player of the week no. over you, are you? He's yeah. having a nice season. Mm -hmm. and Coach Keith Rambin, Wapak 5-0 um, and oh now. And, and things are going pretty well. You've got to be pleased. Yeah, we're, we're pleased with uh, how the season started off, definitely. And Sam, what do you uh, think some of the strengths are? Um, well, we're returning, I would say, I think it was 64 out of our 65 goals this year. And we're a big offensive team. I would say most of our defensive players are offensive minded. That's why we like to score a lot of goals. And that's why we do score a lot of goals. So you're always looking to push up. Is that something that you coach like to instill in them to, to stay on the attack even with the defensive players? Yeah, last year when I took over, um, I kind of switched the the formation. Uh, traditionally, you know, everyone runs a four four two, but uh, I was a lot more offensive minded, and we switched to a three three four last year. And we were the only team running a formation like that in the WBL. And um, you know, it just puts a lot of pressure on the defense when you keep four up. You know, because they have to respect that, so they keep four of their players back at, right. at midfield. So, you know, the numbers balance themselves out. But we've got a very fast um, squad, and we like to take advantage of that. Sam, you mentioned the seniors are a lot of returning 64 of the 65 yeah. goals, 10 seniors total. What are some of the ways that you are, as a group, leading the younger guys and really leading by example? Well, 
when we when we get the, like the like we always like tend to finish our shots. We usually yeah we just tend to finish our shots and the other and we're like leading by example because we're just showing them that we can win our games and it's just a good way to lead. Is there a sense of pride with the program knowing that you finished second in the WBL last year thanks to an extra tie and this year this seems to be a group that could really make a run? Uh, I think so. Um, I think the guys are really starting to believe that, you know, it took a while last year to get them uh, used to the idea that they could actually compete. And now they know that they can compete. And so now when they go out and play, um, it's more of an attitude of they expect to win instead of just hoping to win. So, um, you know, tell them to just enjoy the moment. We're not looking any further than, you know, Bath Tuesday night. We're really not. Um, we know that the WBL is very tough. Um, you know, Elida's got a good program. St. Mary's got a good program. OG's got a good program. You know, Shawnee, I mean, the list just continues to go on and on. So um, they expect to win, but we also know that, you know, we got to bring it every night. Absolutely. Sam, playing in the w WBL, one of the best soccer leagues in the state, what does that mean to you, and how much fun is it to compete against some of the, some of the best players in the state? It's a lot of fun. Knowing that we've been winning quite a bit of games in the WBL, that shows that we are going to have a pretty good season, and we hope to like, make it pretty far in the tournament also. Absolutely. Looking back at the schedule, the opener against Bell Fountain, big 7-1 win for you guys. How did that game set the tone, Coach? Um, you know, the first game is always important. You know, last year our first game was against Kaleida. You know, Walpock had never beaten Kaleida in, in school history, and, you know, uh, we got past them five to nothing, which kind of set the tone for last year. This year, uh, we had never played Bell Fountain before, so we didn't know what to expect. Um, we had them on our home turf, and, you know, we got out there with a 7-1 victory, and it was a good way to start the year. You know, you always, you always want to start off, you know, the year with that first victory. It just kind of sets the tone for the rest of the year. Absolutely. Sam, what are you looking forward to about, I know you got Bath on Tuesday and Coach is not going to let you look too far ahead. Collider on Thursday, that makeup game, both those should be a challenge for your team. Yes, um, we're probably going to get a little bit of revenge back on Bath, knowing what they did to us last year. That tie we had in season last year is what caused us to get second instead of tie for first with St. Mary's in the WBL. And then the first round of the tournament, we ended up losing by one to Bath. So it's going to be a real... Right, there's a little extra emotion into yeah. that one. Do you prepare any differently, or do you just try to treat it like another game? I think we're just going to treat it like another game. Absolutely. And, Coach, what it, when you look around the rest of the Western Buckeye, you kind of mentioned it a little. Who do you think is the, your biggest rival? Or is everyone as a group? You know, I don't... It, it feels like everyone's pretty tight. Again, uh, this is just my second year, so I don't know if I necessarily... I don't know if we necessarily have a rival. Right. We... we I know it sounds cliche, but we really don't prepare any differently, no matter what the opponent is. You know, we just go out there and, and practice um, and work on what we need to work on it as a group. Um, we usually spend Fridays watching film, and we really don't do anything different. Um, we do kind of take, you know, like for instance, when we played Delighted the, the other night, we kind of take what they do well against us mm -hmm. and you know try and work on on that aspect of it you know trying to uh, improve our defense um, you know Elida plays diagonally very well and they were able to catch us off guard a couple of times there um, you know on both of those goals so we kind of take that and try and incorporate that into practice and you know, just try and improve. Try and get better every day. Absolutely. Sam, how close-knit is this senior, cl senior class, and uh, do you think that makes a difference in a team environment? Yes. Um, we've known each other since freshman year. Many of us played varsity our freshman year. We've been basically best friends since freshman to our senior year, and that being so close together is always helps out with, with the team. Absolutely. And without looking too far ahead goals for the season what would you what would you say are the, the goals 
Maybe um, not in terms of a wins and loss, but you know, I mean, where, where you like you see your guys. Uh, I don't want to sit here and say our goal is to uh, win the WBL. Um, I, I, I would not want to be too presumptuous. I would say our goal is to be able to compete every night so that we have a chance to win the WBL. If we just do the small things, you know, the big things will, you know, add up. So um, that, that's what we're striving for is we want to be one of those teams at the end of the year who's got a chance to win the WBL. It seems to be working. 36 goals already. Meanwhile, you've given up just six. So Wapak off to a great start, 5-0 and on the season. Thanks for joining us here. Time for a break on On the Pitch. When we come back, we're going to talk with two more Redskin players. Welcome back to On the Pitch. Joined now by two more Wapakoneta soccer seniors, Will Heingartner in the middle and Luke Williams on the end. Will, let's start with you. You won the uh, honor of being our player of the week and you've had an amazing start to your senior year. What's really been working out there for you? Um, well, it's really a great honor to receive that. Um, <laughs> but I really give all the credit to my teammates. They've been the one giving me the ball up there and it's really not, hasn't been that difficult of me scoring just because of the passes they give me and stuff. They've given me pretty easy goals. So oh. really all the credit goes out to them. A very modest response. They've been setting you up well. Luke, have you been doing your part to help get um, Will in the uh, scoring column? I've been trying. He's, he's had a lot of assists through the midfield and just a lot of through balls that he's just able to run through and finish easily. And that's one of our strong suits is just being able to play the through ball straight through the defense and just running onto it and tapping it in. That's great. And when you guys know you can put up goals like you have, like 36 through five games or whatever it is, when you get that first one, do you kind of feel, get the sense that, all right, we can really like put, score quick here and put this one away? Usually, um, usually since we put up high numbers, we're usually expecting it every game. So our main point is once we score those high numbers is staying ahead and making sure they can't come back against us. We just have to do a better job. Uh, we start off um, good in the first half. We just have to do a better job of keeping that lead in the second half and keep adjusting to the other team. Yeah, that's crucial. Luke, you guys, we get to watch you all the time on game days, but we, we don't see practice. So what are the practices like, and what are some of the ways you guys prepare for, for those games? Um, just a lot of scrimmaging and just working on our passing and just the simple stuff, trying not to get hurt is always a big thing, and just working on communication and passing and things like that. Well, we talked a little bit about it with Sam, senior class, tight-knit group. What's it mean to you to play with these guys and finish out your senior year with them? Oh, it means a lot. Um, I moved here my freshman year, and I wasn't really knowing, didn't know what to expect, and they really welcomed me in, and it was just really fun. And it's really good when you have a close-knit group, you become a lot better team. Absolutely. Because of it. Without a doubt. Sam, what, how do you feel about this senior class? Is it, it must be a blast. You got to, your job right now is to go to school and then go play soccer with your friends. Oh, yeah, it's, it's always fun. And like some of us have been playing together for at least eight years now. And when the Twins moved here freshman year, they just fit right into our group. That's great. Luke, what other, what other games are you looking forward to uh, on the schedule maybe? The, this week, you know, you got Bath and Kalata. Any other WBL opponents you're looking forward to? We just look up. We look forward to every game equally. Right now, we're just focused on Bath. Will any anybody you got your eye on? Not really. Just Bath this coming game since they tied us and beat us last year. We really want to. We really want to get that win on Tuesday. All right, that's a big one. And, and quickly, we'll just finish out with with some of your maybe personal goals or team goals for for the rest of the season. Um, just come out and compete every game. Um, that's all just, you can do, and then yeah. hope, for the, hope for the best result, right? Yeah. Luke, same question. Just like Will said, compete every game, and of course, everyone wants to win the WBL right now. Our focus is just on Bath. Well, thanks, guys, for joining us here. Best of luck to you. Don't move, though. It's time for round two of the on-the-pitch juggle-off. I hear we have a super sophomore coming up. Alex Lousy is going to challenge me. Last week, I tied a New Knoxville Ranger, so let's see how long this takes. Come up here, Alex. Thanks for bringing the soccer ball. I've t I'm told that you could be here all day if you needed to. So I'll start and we'll see. Last time I got seven, which was a lot for me. Let's see how, how it goes this time. Was that nine? 
That was, I'm, I, I should do this on camera all the time, I promise I'm not usually that good. All right, nine, let's see if you can beat nine, Alex. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, we could, we really could be here all day. Oh, great work. Easy win for Alex and the Wapak Redskins. That's gonna do it for On The Pitch. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check back next week. Oh, before we go, let's take a look at some of the upcoming games. Wapak takes on the bat, takes on Bath at Bath. That's the girls game. That'll be on Monday. OG at Shawnee Boys. You can see that Tuesday. That game is played Tuesday. You can see it Wednesday on WOSN. And then we talked about it here. Wapak, big matchup with Kaleida. They got Bath on Tuesday, Kaleida on Thursday. So that's going to do it for On the Pitch. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on WOSN.